I will. Holy fuck, holy fuck. I look an apple. Hello, Minecraft. Welcome to another Inukiba Blueprints Builds video with me, Inukiba, Shane here. Um, today we are going to reveal the finished product of the book store. Oh wait, I should probably make a sign. I don't have a sign yet. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do I have a I might have a sign. I do have a sign. Sweet. Alright, let's go you guys. Good morning, puppies. Alright. Uh, <coughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I should probably show you guys the outside first. So here's how it looks from the outside on the side. I'm going to have to change this whole area to like be level enough to connect this all places to the town. Most of these trees will be gone. Um, here it is from the front, and from the other side, it's pretty much the same, and from the back. Alright, so let's take a look inside. Now we're going to assume we're, for, we're paying customers, alright? Actually, plop. Who wants to own this store? I'll just name it myself, and whoever leaves a comment can get the next build. So, or you can take this one from me. Inukiba. Antique. How do you spell antique? That's a really hard word to spell. We got this. Old. Ass. Books. We got that. Done. Alright, so this is Inukiba. Old ass books go inside here we're paying customers we shut the door behind us and what is this this is whoa this is a bookstore come over here to the to the um to the really old ass books and sh I'll, I'll take this red one here yeah and then uh you bring it up here to the counter oh oops decoration decoration yeah sure i'll take one book Okay, sure, that'll be... Oh, I forgot to register. I am so dumb, you guys. I'll be right back. I figured out how to do a register. T I think. It might look a little silly. And we'll take this. As you guys can tell, I went to. I was able to get to the nether. I actually had a nether portal open before the other video started. But I felt it was necessary to, like, it wasn't necessary to record me going there and explain any of that. So, just so y'all know. Because it's one of those ones where you spawn way up in the air, and I couldn't do anything at the time. So, that's how that was. Alright, let's, let's make a register so we can buy this book here. Uh, the register should be here. Ooh, that's a really big register. But, I mean, it kind of works. Actually, this needs to be on the back. Cash. Uh, let's see. What, what else would be on the register? In, a, in an assuming sense. Let's just do tax. Oh, a uh, little info for you guys. I was able that that works that kind of works T tell me if you guys think I, if you guys can think of any way to help with that um a little update for you guys on my other series I'm going to be recording a couple episodes of this first but I'm not giving up on the other one I think I mentioned this um and Oh, God, my stomach. I'm not giving up on this one and the other one. I'm going to be doing them together, pretty much. But the next build on this file, that's not at all what I wanted to talk about with that popped into my head. On this file, I 
I'm going to have to build my farm next. I had designed a farm for the 404 underground, the 404 underground challenge thing. <laughs> and I never did the 404 challenge. Like, I started it once, went in, died, and then, like, gave up. So, um, I gave up on all that. Alright, let's see, what else did I do? I'm sorry, it's really unprofessional yawn. Well, it looks to me like this farm includes a... I modified it a little bit to match the updates. But... Let's see, it looks like it includes two rows of wheat. I modified it to make hold pumpkin and melons. I might change that to like more melons because they're actually useful. Uh, cactus and four trees. So it looks like it should be pretty efficient as far as it goes and it doesn't look like it takes up too much space but it takes up quite a bit um, I can't kill you for food I need food you guys where's all your friends I'm just walking around looking for food you guys um so yeah that's my next build it doesn't look too resource heavy but it is just cause the fact that I'm gonna have to get seeds for all that And it's really not gonna happen anytime soon so I'll just start with a I might just start with a really small wheat farm to get myself going and start mapping out the blueprints I am so dumb I'm walking around here at night with no health or with little health and no food and no fucking thing to kill what the hell is with all the sheep they should drop lamb chops just saying then again, it would be too easy. But then you get files like mine where I spawn nothing but sheep and wolves. And you can't eat the wolves. You can't eat the sheep. I mean, I've been going to the nether and killing pigmen to get food. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Actually, one thing I wanted to do was look at this build in my texture pack. So, I'm going to cut here I will holy fuck holy fuck I look an apple sweet thank you creeper um yeah I'm gonna cut it all right you guys I'm back I've got the texture pack on I got my nice little puppies over here look a bit more wolf like but wolves have yeah yellow eyes when they're older um i made a little bitty farm here just get myself going holy crap this is laggy as hell all right i just wanna i know it's laggy but i just want to see this place in my texture pack it's actually not my texture pack i've made texture packs before but i lost them i might make a new one Alright, uh, I really like it in here. This looks nice. This looks really nice. I like the glowstone a lot. Ooh, I don't like birch. Let me look at that. That is disgusting. I do not like this. Hey, look, a skelly. I gotta get one hit in. Yay, I gotta hit in. I like this though. I can't wait for the new update where you can climb vines and the jungles. The jungle will be so cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think I like the birch in this texture pack, but that's okay. I'm sure we can find uses for it. And there goes my phone. Alright, so, I, uh, I really like it in this texture pack a lot. It looks really nice. I wish there was a way to make the books go random too, like the random mobs. That'd be really cool. 
<clears throat> I always leave the freaking door open. I'm, all, I'm gonna have to like set up some redstone or uh, just use some pressure plates or something. Um, I'm really hoping this is a short video because I just wanted to do like a quick reveal and then telling you what we're gonna build next. Do I have anything in here? Yeah, I do. Okay. Alright, so that's how this is all going. Uh, leave a comment on what you guys think of the place. Uh, leave comments on what you want me to do furthermore. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Subscribe, rate, comment, all that good jazz. And I will see you guys next time. Love y'all, see you out.